Hey there. Um, my ears are just killing me because I have like a double ear infection now. But um, I just wanted to say that I guess I'll quote Ani DeFranco and say, taken out of context, I must seem so strange. <laughs> um, are my lips blue? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, I just wanted to um, talk a little bit about my usage of the words queer and fag, homo, dyke, um, lesbian, homosexual, what are the other words? Um, because I guess taken out of context, it seems kind of strange, but, um, like I live in the nor Pacific Northwest and in the nineties I was up in Seattle, um, for a little while and involved in kind of queer culture a little bit and even now like at my university we have a queers and allies um, group and um, stuff like that so like those words are not used like they are maybe I don't know how it is around the rest of the country or um, in the rest of the world because I don't know, I've never been anywhere, but, um, so I don't mean to use those in a derogatory way at all, and, like, um, they're kind of, like, used in, um, you know, like, I'll say, hey, look at that cute queer boy there, or, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but, um, yeah, so, like, really those words have no power of, uh, or no derogatory meaning when I'm saying them because, um, because I've been a part of the queer community and, um, I don't know, maybe some of you find that offensive, um, I don't really like identify as a straight person exactly. Um, maybe I am straight, but I'm not proud of it. <laughs> no, I don't really identify as straight exactly or um, anything like that. So I kind of have contempt for breeders myself. <laughs> That's another term, breeders, that uh, is used and. Um, whoops, now I'm in, <laughs> but I don't know how to explain it, I guess, um, you have to sort of be in the community to sort of understand where I'm coming from, I guess, and so, I don't, and not all homosexual, like, that word sounds weird to me now. Not all homosexual people in the Pacific Northwest use the words queer. Um, I guess it's just like a kind of a subsection of people that I'm around who are queer positive and um, like supportive of gay and lesbian, transgender people and bisexual and you know, the whole diverse culture of people. So I guess that's about it. And I'm sure I've alienated more people now. <laughs> but um, yeah, I wouldn't suggest you go around like s calling people fags and dykes and stuff like that. I usually find out like how someone wants to be identified um, you know, if they want to be identified as a lesbian or as, like, a dyke, or if they want to be identified as, you know, even 
straight, if they are homosexual, then if they're, you know, like still in the closet to people or not out in some way. So I wouldn't suggest you start going around calling people these names, but um, if you're in a queer community somehow and um, involved in that kind of like group of people where you know how people like to be identified, then you probably can use different words. So I guess that's all. So I hope there's no misunderstanding. I'm not like trying to bash queer people or anything. Um, or lesbian or gay people or homosexuals or whatever you want to, whatever, you know, um, it's just, um, kind of the queer culture that I've been around sort of has changed the way I speak about gay and lesbian people. So I hope that sort of explains it. I know that I didn't really do a very good job of explaining it, but my head's in a weird space because my ears are just uh, 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 driving me crazy. I can't even hear myself speak, so I'm probably like screaming into the microphone. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that's about it. Okay, bye.